Hi guys and welcome to my March review of the World of Wizardry Geek Gear box. But before we get started, let's take a look at my Marauders map box. For anyone new to my channel, this is my Marauders map box. And I use it to collect all sorts of Harry Potter merchandise that I come across. Just things which are personal favourites, bits and bobs, stuff that I love. Sometimes I put in my favourite Geek Gear items as well, and sometimes it's official and sometimes it's not. This is a Harry Potter mug which I actually got from a science museum called, well it's called We the Curious but it used to be called At Bristol. And I saw this one and I just had to get it and it was such a good price. £6.95 there. This is my first Harry Potter mug. And I really love it. I'm really into the whole Quidditch sort of themed stuff. This is a Quidditch Captain Gryffindor mug and I'm really big on Gryffindor. This magical notebook I also got from We The Curious. And it's not a Harry Potter item at all, but it's very, very cool. It's very magical. It's got a wand, which I believe is also a pen. No, it's actually a pencil, but I've got a little wand to go with it and that fits in there which is really cool and it's also got these runes at the bottom which look really cool they're not Harry Potter it's just magical and well themed and I thought that it was a really beautiful notebook I'm also a fan of the Mortal Instruments books and in that they've got a lot of runes and these runes remind me of the angelic runes that they use in that these are Harry Potter top trumps cards these are official Warner Brothers items and I got these for £1.50 at the works which I thought was a really good bargain. I really like the Top Trump series of cards games. I think that it's a really fun, easy way to play and very enjoyable. If you've seen my 75% off bargain haul video, then you will have seen this item before. It's a book all about Quidditch. It's all about the history of it. It's basically a fictional sports book, which is amazing. It's got loads of facts about the pitch, about the balls, about how it started, everything like that. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. It is similar to Fantastic Beasts in the sense that it's a textbook which the students would actually read. In fact, you've even got a library stamp on the front here, which has different characters. So, if Fantastic Beasts can be made into a movie, then maybe this one will too. And these are Hogwarts Crest coasters, and they're actually of each house. So you've got each of the houses on them, and it's a set of four. And it actually really makes me wish that I had a second copy of these, because then I could keep one nice and I could actually use one. So for the time being, I love them, but I'm a little bit sad that I can't use them. But I think that they're really beautifully designed. They've got the metallic gold. They're very shiny, very articulate. They just look really great. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of amazing items for my box. Now we'll get on to the merchandise from Geek Gear, and I'm really excited to be going through that with you. I'm going in a slightly different order today. I'm going to be starting with the t-shirt. This is the t-shirt for the March Geek Gear box. And again, we've had a figure before, we've had Newt Scamander in the past, but this time what we've got is Remus Lupin. He was the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher in Harry's third year, and he isn't an Animagus. What this is, is a werewolf, because he himself is a werewolf. And that's actually the reason that the Marauders became Animagi, because that meant that they were able to keep an eye on him and be with him when he transformed on the full moon. This t-shirt is priced at £9.99 in the booklet, and I think that that is a fair price for a Harry Potter t-shirt. In terms of its composition, it's a really nice t-shirt. It's very well designed. It's got these metallic shiny colours, so that the blues and the greens, they stand out really nicely. It's a very good stylization. However, I personally am not a big fan of character t-shirts. I prefer to have icons, symbols, objects, phrases, those sorts of things. So this isn't really my idea of a great t-shirt, it's not my personal favourite. The print for this month is the Forks print, and I think that this is really beautiful. I think the designs in the back are really ornate, and then you've got the detail and the different golds and reds that just make him so splendid. He looks great. Last month's print was smaller and it actually came framed. I thought that that was better because it meant that it was well protected. 
they've gone back to their usual way of having a full size print and this has meant that it has actually bent where it's been in the box so you can see here that that's creased which is a real shame because this is probably my favourite print so far the Geek Gear prints are priced at £4.99 and while it's beautifully designed I still feel that £4 This print is priced at £4.99 and while it's my favourite print so far, I still feel that £4.99 is a bit expensive for what is effectively a printed piece of paper. In this box we have actually got two wearables this month and the second wearable is these socks. These are house socks, so there are Gryffindor socks and Slytherin socks and Ravenclaw socks and Hufflepuff socks and I've got the Gryffindor ones. And these are actually a really, really cool design. They're basically a school uniform, so they're actually, it's very hard to show you, but they're a tie with the collar and it actually sits on the front of your foot. So if you just imagine that on two sides, then you can sort of see it. And I think that that's a really interesting and quirky design for socks. It's not something that I've come across before. They are priced at £4.99 and I'm a big lover of socks but £4.99 for one pair of socks is pushing it for me. I would probably price these at about £2.99, maybe £3.99. This is probably my favourite item from this box. This is a stamp set. So this is a very old fashioned style of sealing a letter. What people would do is they would close their envelope and then they would melt some hot, hot wax traditionally red onto where it overlaps and then with it dripped on they would then put their stamp or their seal onto it in order to sort of show who it was from as well as sealing it so this is a really really nice item I really like this I know I'm saying really a lot but I love it this is the Gryffindor crest that you can probably not see too well on that, but it's really ornate. And they've done one for each house as well. This item is priced at £7.99 and I think that that's a very fair price. I would probably pay more than that and I know that it's not official, but I just thought that it's a really good idea. Where did they come up with this? It's, it's just so like old fashioned in the same way that that Hogwarts is kind of a little bit old and that's what that's part of what makes it magical and wonderful so it fits in so well with the whole Harry Potter world theme for most of the time that I've been collecting Geek Gear box they have almost always given a pin out in their box there used to only be one pin it would be in a sealed sort of blister pack uh, so that you wouldn't want to open it because it'd be like a collectible basically and then you could get like a very rare version, a normal version or like a slightly rare version however in the last two boxes they seem to have changed this and what they are now is as you can see we haven't got a blister box we've actually got a lift lid the advantage of this is that you can get a pin and you can feel like you can just take it out and wear it. You don't have to feel like you have to try and keep it perfect. Now, last month we got house pins and these were a set of prefect pins. And this month we've got a house jumper, scarf and tie. And these were actually designed by one of the subscribers to Geek Gear. Whereas last time we had two, this time we've got three and they're a whole matching set which is gorgeous. I really like these. They're very simplified, but they're still really nicely done. These are priced at £11.99, which works out as about £4 per pin. And that might be a little bit expensive for these ones, but I'm not sure. I think I, think I would maybe pay that amount because they are really nice, they're really quirky, they're not the kind of thing that I'm just going to find anywhere else. And I especially like the fact that they were designed by a subscriber. In this month's box we have three recipes. We have the Magical Butter Cookies. We have Fever Fudge, which I believe is one of Fred and George's concoctions. And we also have the Butterscotch Fudge. 
These three recipes are not priced in the book because they come free every month and what they are is they're an addition to a folder that we got a few months back and the folder I believe you can get for a few pounds on the Geek Gear website if you did miss that issue. So that's a way for you to be able to collect all of the Harry Potter recipes. There's some really, really good ones. And to go with this recipe, we have been given cutters. So here we've got an owl shape, we've got the sorting hat, and then we've also got my personal favourite, a golden snitch shape, that's a tongue twister, at the bottom there. These are priced at £2.99 in the book, which I think is a very fair price because if you ever look at cooking supplies, cutters and things, they always cost too much. So £2.99 is a really good price for proper Harry Potter shapes. Our only official item for this month is the authentic Weasley & Weasley spinning top pen. This actually spins, I can't really show you all that well. But this is one of those pens where you've got the little different pulleys in order to change its colour. This is priced at £3.99 and I think that that's a very good price. Pens can be a little bit expensive, especially when they're fun ones where you can have multiple colours in once. And it is um, and it is an official item as well, so that kind of ups the price a little bit as well. And our last item is the wand. So I will read to you what it says here. To Ron, tried fixing your wand, hope it works okay, love mum. So we know instantly, or we should know instantly, that this must be Ron's wand. If you recall in the second film when he goes, stop, stop, stop on the dashboard of the Ford Anglian and when they go into the Whomping Willow and very quickly follows by, my wand. It's that one. Quick thing to point out though, however, his mum did not fix it. Ron himself tried to fix it with spello tape, which didn't work very well. So here's his wand. It's a very plain wand, there's not very much detail to it. It's probably, honestly, the most boring wand I've seen so far. However, how they've done the tape is quite interesting. They've sort of done it with sort of a half see-through plastic here, which looks kind of cool. But I wish it looked a bit more like tape. This wand is priced at £9.99, which is the same price as any wand. And while on the one hand, £10 is a good price to get any wand at all. Some wands are very much more interesting, more detailed, and then some wands are... The only proper use you'd have for this wand is if you tried to eat slugs or two. I also wanted to point out that the wand was wrapped in this really interesting paper that I haven't seen before. So this has the Hogwarts house and then it has the animal of each house as well. And I think that that's really pretty magical paper. So that's it for our March review of the World of Wizardry box by Geek Gear. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who have subscribed. I've now reached a milestone because I'm at 50 subscribers. And this has given me such a confidence boost. It's really great to see all of your comments and to have all of your support behind me. It's just made this experience so much better. So thank you to all of you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And as always, thank you for watching and keep collecting.